For today's video, I am talking about the In Beauty Project Face Glaze Highlighting Gel Cream. So I'm going to be doing a demo for you guys. I'm going to let you know my overall thoughts and if I think it is worth it. And I'm also going to kind of compare it to some other similar type of pro types of products such as the Say Glowy Super Gel, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Those type of products I feel like are similar to this, but there's definitely differences. So I'm going to kind of briefly touch base on kind of comparing it to those products as well so if you're interested go ahead and keep on watching let's go ahead and get into it if you're new here and you enjoyed this video at any point make sure to subscribe I'd love to have you join my little community here on YouTube but anyway let's go ahead and get right into the video so let's start off with some details about this so this retails for $27 and this is described as a highlighting gel cream infused with ceramides squalane and hyaluronic acid that can be used in multiple ways to give your skin a gorgeous soft focus glow. So this is supposed to be kind of like a combination of skincare and makeup in one. It says pioneering a new category of skin slash makeup hybrids. We welcome face glaze to the in beauty fam. So it says get the soft focus glow you've been wishing for without any of the flakiness or chunky glitters of traditional highlighters. A unique jelly texture melts into skin while imparting a stunning radiance that looks like your skin with the perfect lighting. No greasiness or stickiness whatsoever. It has a champagne tone. It's sheer and buildable and works for all skin tones Like they mentioned they say that you can use this in a variety of ways It says use alone as a skin perfecter so you can apply it all over your face That is personally how I like to apply it or you can use it as a primer under foundation Which again would still be all over the face unless you like to normally use your primer in certain areas Such as the t-zone wherever you like to use your primer or you could even mix it with foundation or you could use it as a highlighter so you can use this in a variety of ways, but I'm going to demonstrate this just using it all over my face. So I'm just gonna draw a few lines on my face and it might seem like I'm applying a lot, but I feel like you can apply more product with this. So it feels kind of like a lightweight moisturizer. And if I'm comparing it to like the Say Glowy Super Gel, this one is not gonna be nearly as dewy as that product. That one is definitely a lot more moisturizing than this. This kind of settles into more of a natural finish, I would say, um, but it still does give kind of that like glowy look without it being like, really dewy it definitely absorbs into the skin quickly like i'm already almost like tugging at my skin again just because it's like already absorbed and it's not like super moisturizing on the skin there it is just one layer and i would also say that this is a lot less like glowy than say the say glowy super gel or the charlotte tilbury flawless filter also, when comparing those, the Flawless Filter does give a little bit of like a tint to the skin. The Say Gluey Super Gel doesn't. It's only like a luminosity. This one also does not give any type of tint to the skin. Like it's not going to give any coverage. It's just giving a little bit of a glow. And I find that the glow that this gives is a lot more subtle than those other glowy base products. But I want to apply one more layer just to kind of show that you can kind of build up the glow a little bit if you want to. But it's just really, really pretty. I do like it. I love glowy base products like this. I kind of wish it was a little bit more moisturizing. However, if you are somebody with like oily skin and you want something that's not going to be like super dewy on your skin, then I definitely think that you would like this because this really does not feel really dewy on your skin at all. It definitely sinks in quickly and just your skin just really absorbs it quickly. So I'd say this would be good for anybody who just kind of wants something that's gonna give kind of just a natural finish because it does definitely kind of settle in. I also don't think it's really sticky. So this is what it looks like. I think it does look really, really pretty. A very nice subtle glow. This is a type of product that I feel like I could just wear this completely on its own and it's not gonna look like overly glowy. Like I have like a boom kind of crazy glowy product on my face. I feel like it just gives my skin a really nice subtle natural healthy glow without it looking over highlightery now they say that you can use this as a highlighter however I don't know if this would do a whole lot as a highlighter I mean it could a little bit but it would definitely be very subtle if you did use it as a highlighter I'm gonna use a little bit and just kind of apply it to the tops of my cheekbones to show how you can use it as a highlighter it's just gonna be very subtle still very pretty but you can kind of build it up on certain areas if you do want to try to use it kind of like a highlighter and kind of get a little bit of glow in those certain areas, but it's still going to be pretty subtle, but it looks really pretty. This definitely is giving like no makeup makeup. If you just want to have a little bit of something going on, 
without looking like you applied makeup because this is very, very subtle, but does look really, really gorgeous. And you can definitely see where I've kind of like built up the product a little bit. Definitely has a little bit more of a glow and luminosity there. But yeah, if you don't want something that's super dewy, this would definitely be one that I think that you would like because compared to like the Say Glowy Super Gel, that one's a lot more moisturizing, which I personally love and it does have more of a dewy finish. I love that. But if you just want something that doesn't look so dewy, I think that you would like this because this one really does just settle into your skin and it doesn't feel dewy. It feels lightweight on the skin as well, so that is nice. I do really enjoy this. I think it's very, very pretty. I'm also gonna take a little bit and apply it under the eyes because I do have kind of some dark under eyes here. So I'm just gonna apply some under my eyes and show you guys kind of the difference that it can make for under the eyes as well. Obviously it's not gonna like totally get rid of darkness, but it just brightens the under eyes a little bit. So there's without and there's with it. So hopefully you guys can see a little bit of difference. Obviously it doesn't do like a crazy lot of a difference, but it's gonna, you know, kind of brighten that under eye area a little bit. But again, you know, this is not giving any coverage. But I like this. I think it is very, very pretty. This is definitely a product that I have been continuing to use. Also, I did purchase this myself. I purchased it a few months ago and I have been enjoying it. I do want to try some more products from In Beauty Project. So if you've tried any of their other products and you like them, let me know. I'd love to know what they are. I'd love to know which products from this brand I should check out next and try out next. So let me know in the comments. And if there's anything from In Beauty Project that you want me to review, let me know in the comments. But overall, I do like this, and I think that this is a great option for anybody who wants a glowy base product that isn't super dewy and also is more kind of on the subtle side. However, you can build it up if you want to. If you are interested in checking this out, I will have it listed and linked in the description box below. No pressure to use my link at all, but if you do, it does help to support my channel. So thank you so much. If you are planning on purchasing this anyway and you use my link, it means so much to me and it really helps me out to be able to continue creating content here on YouTube. If you do have any questions about the face glow, definitely let me know in the comment section below. I'd be happy to help answer any questions that you may have. But anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see even more content from me in the future, I would absolutely love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you for my next video.